Hello, Chill Computer Guy. Today we're in Reason 9.5. I've been getting into Reason again, and one of the main things that Reason has um, that Bitwig Studio, which is the other DAW that I've been venturing around in and doing uh, various videos on, is uh, a groove, a shuffle, a slide, a way to to get in the pocket. Um, now Ableton also has this and a lot of other DAWs have this but um, Bitwig Studio it does have a shuffle and it does have a quantize you know but but um, it doesn't have like a a groove mixer type of uh, setup uh, or a I think they call it in Ableton they call it the uh, the groove uh, I don't know help me out in the comments below but it's got like a, a groove uh, little thing where you can throw in some grooves save your groove swap grooves in and out get some reference grooves um, stuff like that is super helpful because I've been finding that in Bitwig Studio I'm having a hard time getting in the pocket as far as groove um, I'm not a big 4-4 guy I'm not a big dance music producer um, if I was if I were a big you know dance music 4-4 guy it probably wouldn't bug me as much but I I'm obsessed with the groove you know I gotta get a good groove going um, you know I'm a vocalist I like to put vocals down and if I can't find a groove I can't put a vocal on um, and I've been having a really hard time finding a groove in Bitwig Studio um, I recently was messing around with Ableton and I didn't have the issue in Ableton I thought it might be a workflow thing but the groove pool that's what they call it the groove pool in Ableton but I went to Ableton and was messing around with the groove pool and I got right in the pocket I got in the pocket but a propeller head reason I've never had an issue with getting in the pocket mainly because of this groove mixer here um, I'm gonna go ahead and play this this is just a simple little loop I took a bass loop off of splice.com and I put together some just really simple drum parts uh, what I did is I right clicked one of the new features in I don't know if it's uh, Reason 9 or Reason 9.5, I think it's Reason 9, is uh, the ability to bounce audio clip to MIDI right here, okay? This is basically a way of extracting the groove of an audio clip, um, but this I have found very, very useful. You basically, let's say in this case I put a, a bass loop in here from, from splice.com like I was saying, and I went to the bass loop and I bounced it into MIDI and by doing that I got this clip here okay which as you can see is a pretty darn good representation of this audio clip here but what I did is I took that and then I put all these notes onto the uh, the C1 or C2 or wherever the kick drum is uh, right here so I basically extracted the uh, groove or I bounced the uh, audio into MIDI and then I just slid them all to the kick drum. Okay, and then that gave me the ability to sync the kick drum and the bass loop very uh, well. And then once I had that, then I put in a little groove, I put in a little bit of the uh, pull-in groove. Now the pull-in groove just pulls that kick drum back so it's slightly behind the bass drum. Um, let's go ahead and mute all these and you can see what that sounds like with just the bass and the kick drum. Now here it is without the groove. see it's right behind it.
So you can hear there, we're, we're in the pocket. We've got a good kind of groove going, something we can build on. You know, it's not perfect. There is some mixing that needs to take place, but I'm in the pocket. I'm in, I've got a groove going. I've got something I can kind of swing to, something I can put some vocal on because it's got a groove to it. Um, we're going to go ahead and turn these groove mixers off real quick. We're going to play this and turn these off and notice how it's not in the pocket anymore. It sounds like it's just like five separate sounds just kind of on top of each other. So we're going to we're going to turn the uh, groove mixer off here real quick and you'll hear the difference. <laughs> It's subtle, but it matters. And when you're ready to to put a vocal on and you're in the groove and you're trying to put that vocal right into the track, you need to feel that groove. And if you don't feel that groove, it'll feel like your vocal's kind of floating on top because you're not, you know, you're not uh, you're not in sync. You're not a. It's like a, you know, it's like a current. You got to really get in there and, and whip that around. Now. So, um, like I say, it's very subtle, but it's very important. And this has been a pretty big issue that I've been having with Bitwig Studio is finding, getting in the pocket, getting in the groove. Um, I just, uh, Reason to me is has workflow issues and it seems kind of like a clunky DAW, but for some reason I can get into Reason and just jam and come up with, with a loop or, or something. You know, I can come up with, a, with three or four parts that just sit together very well, sound together really well, and, you know, basically the, the long and short of it is I can put together something in reason that I want to, that I want to put some vocal on a lot quicker than I can in any other DAW. Um, it doesn't have a streamlined workflow, but it has a, a workflow that is conducive to, to doing things in a very old-fashioned analog um, you know, it's it's it, reason to me is is the DAW that's most like playing a physical instrument. In other words, you can get in here and just jam and uh, and really come up with something very quickly that you can that you're excited to put a vocal on, as opposed to something that just doesn't really do it for you groove wise. And a lot of that is is the use of the regroove mixer. I use it on every track. It's uh, it's probably one of my favorite parts of Reason. Uh, and it's something that's missing in a Bitwig studio, and I am missing it very much. I'm, um, but so yeah, something that that uh, Bitwig studio might need to look at for the next update is putting into some sort of a a way to, uh, you know, at least like a template that you can put your grooves in, something you can really work out. And then of course, right clicking and you know, getting groove from Clip, which Ableton has, and. Uh, and now um, Reason 9.0 has that. You just you right click and you go bounce, bounce audio to MIDI, and you can get a groove from the clip. So now another quick thing is the original kick drum patterns right here. It's just a 4/4. So let's go ahead and uh, and mute the groove and then play the 4/4, and you can see the difference. <laughs> So as you can hear, I've extracted the kick drum pattern from the bass loop, and so you get a much more cohesive uh, type of pattern there. Interesting stuff. So here's the extract from the bass loop, and then here's the 4-4. And of course, when you play the 4-4, you can really get a sense of the effect that the shuffle's having on it. 
And then we're going to use A3, which is this groove channel here. So you can hear now is we can actually slide that 4-4 forward and backwards. And we can do that with the bass plane. You can kind of get a sense of how important the slide is. I mean, it sounds like shit, but we're just doing this to the extreme as an example. In other words, you can slide that kick drum behind the bass, or you can slide it ahead of the bass. And so just the ability to do that is just super powerful, and it's something that uh, I just really don't see in Bitwig Studio. So anyway, so here I am in Reason, Propeller Head Reason 9.5, uh, just, you know, a DAW that I find myself going back to for inspiration and I find the inspiration pretty quickly mainly because of the regroove mixer and just the way uh, the SSL I really like the SSL when it comes to mixing as well so the racks a little clumsy but you know I love I love flipping it around and hooking up things my way so anyway chill computer guy if you haven't already please subscribe uh, give a thumbs up uh, comment and share this video and we'll have more uh, a random little rants. Uh, we'll see you again. Thanks.